Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Today we have a specification leak for the GTX 1080 Ti. That is right. Over on the OC3D forums, one of their users, Excalibur50, has posted what appears to be a leaked screenshot of the specs for the GTX 1080 Ti, which is certainly something that I have kind of been sitting on the edge of my seat waiting for and we got a list of the full specs up here over on the OC3D website which I'm going to link to down in the description below so if you want to take a look at that for yourself and check everything out go ahead and do check out that link so looking at these specs now side by side we can see that it's not it is different from the full size Titan X in more ways than I certainly had thought of um, for instance it does have four less SM units and we are also seeing it can only do 10.8 teraflops of compute performance versus the 11 teraflops of the Titan X Pascal. They also removed 256 CUDA cores. So up until now, everything here seems to be, you know, pretty normal. It's what I expected. The big change that comes into place is with the VRAM type where they've actually gone with DDR5 instead of DDR5X, but they are still going with 12 gigabytes and they are getting the 384 bit memory bus versus the 256 bit memory bu bus of the GTX 1080. So while the GTX 1080 has the faster DDR5X, the 1080 Ti is still going to have a 384 bit memory bus with DDR5 memory. So how much of an impact that's going to have versus the Titan X and how different the performance um, you know, we'll be there between those two cards. We will have to wait and see and let me know obviously your thoughts on that down in the comments below. Also, we are seeing here a higher base clock speed though versus the Titan X of 1503 megahertz and a boost of 1623. That's compared to the 1417 and 1513 megahertz on the Titan X Pascal, still with the 250 watt TDP and using a single eight pin and six pin power connector. So same power delivery as Titan X Pascal. I'm assuming this is going to be in the Founders Edition style, probably the silver color, like the, um, like just like the 1080. Then again, they might do a black style, but usually they have stuck with those for the Titan X Pascal edition. So the question now remains is when are these going to come out and how much are they going to cost? And are these, um, these, these specification leaks 100% legitimate? We could see the screenshot here that appears to be from the GeForce website at least. Uh, and everything appears to be on the up and up there. But then again, you know, this something like this could have been easily photoshopped. You can download this font. It's called Positech Bold. That's the font that they use um, for this logo, I believe, or Gemini. Actually, this one might be Gemini. They use two fonts mainly. They use Positech Bold, I believe, for the GeForce logo. And then they also use the other one that I just said, which is now leave my Gemini. That's another one, I think. Is that them? I don't know. I'm pretty sure those are the names of the two fonts, though, that they use because I've used them on some of my thumbnails before in the past. So it's not impossible to go ahead and fake something like this and make it look like it came from the GeForce website. But everyone uh, seems to be thinking that this looks pretty legit. So I would love to get your guys feedback, obviously, on this in the comments below. Let me know what if you think it's legit. And now that we have these numbers, um, you know, even seeing it with the cut down memory, being able to do 384 gigabytes per second versus the 480 gigabytes per second of the Titan X Pascal. You know, how much is that actually going to equate to when we actually go ahead and boot up some games? And, you know, is it going to really fall directly between the 1080 and the Titan X? Or is it going to be kind of closer to the Titan X? Because if you remember with the 980 Ti and, that's, and that Titan X that came out, the Max the Maxwell Titan X, the, uh, the 1080 Ti even beat it in some instances. In most cases, it was losing by just a small margin. But in some instances, it would actually even beat out the Titan X because it has had a little bit better overclocking headroom. So... This will be interesting, and also, like I said, when are we going to see it? Are they going to wait until AMD pushes out their Vega cards and they have something to answer them with? Or are they going to push this out a little bit sooner? I'm of the mindset that they would probably wait for Vega, but if we're already starting to see leaks this early on and Vega's not off until 2017, who knows? We could see the 1080 Ti shipping here in 2016. So I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, guys. Please let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments below, and be sure to check out the links to all of our sources as we always put down in the description and I will catch you guys next time. Ta-ra.